so I had this big unit that was falling apart <clears throat> and because it was already missing pieces I said to myself you know what I'm not gonna have this huge ass thing taking up space um, I'm gonna salvage it for parts and I was able to pull everything out of it without cutting any wires so here's the turntable here's the radio and here's the 8-track player now the radio had this is where the main power goes into and there's the box and right beside it is another plug that's what the 8-track player was plugged into and that's where the audio for the 8-track player was plugged into and over here is the audio and power for the turntable here's the back panel everything's still intact with another additional outlet right there so technically I could take it and plug this in and play with plug everything together and it would still work but I'm not gonna do that um, so the 8-track player has its own plug and its own set of audio cables so I was able to plug it right into the outlet and I can still use it outside of the case. It's got its own little fan on it. Belt's dirty. But yeah. So I can actually use this separately, which is awesome. I didn't think it had its own plug on it. When I realized it was plugged into the side of the radio here, I was like, no friggin' way. I don't have to friggin' attach a plug and shit like that. So, yeah. That's awesome. So, I could literally plug everything back into the main unit here and use this entire thing without the shell. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad they made it in like sections like that. Not like all hot wired or the, I mean soldered to the board. I like how it's all separate, so. That's the plug for the 8-track player. It's own little power box, so I was like, yeah, that works for me. All right, well, later.